uh, about 20 years ago, a little bit longer, maybe 22 years ago, I was uh, trying to finish my PhD in, in physics, and I was really sick, and I was uh, in a wheelchair, and I was sleeping 20 hours a day, and anyway, it turns out I had a brain tumor, and uh, after they sucked the brain tumor out of my nose, I finished my PhD in six months, started my first startup, and became very interested in neuroscience. So it's been a, a side project for that period of time. And as I was rehabilitating myself, I was frustrated by my ability to take my ideas and get them outside of my head. And so I took all of the engineering that I had learned, my electrical engineering and optics, and had threw it back on itself to try to figure out how to make a system where I could, and many people could, communicate perhaps better. Just got a few slides, they're really short, to give you a fast history of where brain mapping is going. This is three years ago, and this happened in Berkeley in California. Uh, in this case, three different subjects were put in big MRI scanners, the ones that fill a room and shown hundreds of hours of YouTube videos. And scans of their heads in the MRI systems were taken to see how their brains were reacting to the videos. And then a new sequence of images were shown, and the computer, using brain scan data alone, tried to guess what these subjects were seeing. The top clip is what the subjects are shown, and right below that are the nearest guesses by the computer of what it thinks the person is looking at, just by reading the brain scan data. And what, what this shows to me is that we're getting close. These are grainy, low-resolution images, but this isn't so crackpot anymore. It's very close. If we look at the world outside us, so, or in here, it's, these are the seats you're sitting on, these mics, the buildings, the, the cars, were all, at one point, just thoughts in someone's head. But it took a number of years, often, or hundreds of years, sometimes with buildings, to get from the thought into the physical reality. What this work is going to do is make that, take away the time lag. Um, you're already seeing robots that can build <coughs> Uh, houses um, that can print any object, whether it's a, a beautiful piece of art or a gun. Um, and when you have your thought plugged into that, this whole world, which I think feels solid because there is this time lag, is suddenly going to become very fast and very liquid. Um, where do you think that's going to show up? Do you agree with that, first of all? I think it's brilliant, yeah, I think, uh, I think you're absolutely right. How do we, so, you know, rapid prototyping changes completely and what, what, what we see and what we can present to each other should accelerate on and ways first that are, areas oh, will and probably first be area. military because they usually are the first adopters of new technology and then what design, creative work, where, where do you think it's first going to show up in the world? I have these images in my head, I want to get them out of my head. It would be a really fast way, rather than spending hours to try to get an image right. Uh, it'd just be so useful as a tool for creatives to be able to get their ideas out of their head, get them on paper, get people to see the, on, the, on the same page, I think, is, is, is a, a really uh, great use. On military, yeah, I have similar fears and yeah. uh, what is happening in Guantanamo, Guantanamo and so forth yeah. and what what and and what rules and can we make that have what does privacy mean and what is I was reading the the Wikipedia page on privacy last night before oh. I had them right and uh, they talk about privacy <clears throat> and then intimacy and I think this is definitely goes into intimacy what's happening in your head and what are the rules around that does it mean we shouldn't do it? How can we not do it? I can't figure out a way to not do it. It's not like Moon TV, where when I met you the, yeah. 30 years ago, everybody could agree I had death threats. Moon TV was a bad idea. People wanted to make a login. So, okay, fine. Let's leave the moon alone. Fine. But this, I don't know that we can. No, it's, it's coming whether you do it or not.